Caitlin is on her way home and she wants a cuddle chicken so bad. Well, it ain't a chicken, but it'll cuddle. Can't wait to see her reaction. Hello, little chick, chick, chicks. Oh, what are you? <laughs> He's okay, <laughs> for real. It's my Frankenstein. <laughs> we'll see if it works. We got chickens coming. I just picked up my chicks. 60 of them. Caitlin is on her way home. She was supposed to let me know, but she didn't. She forgot. But I'm on top of it. And I know that she's coming home right now. And I got these two baby goose right there. Some MDEM goslings. And uh, they're just the cutest things. And they love human interaction. And she wants a cuddle chicken so bad. Well, it ain't a chicken, but it'll cuddle. So, uh, can't wait to see her reaction. All right, so Caitlin just drove in the driveway. She's coming in here any minute. She probably wanna go see the cows, but I gotta try and convince her to come inside first. And then she'll get uh, triggered when she sees the chickens. She wants her chicken time, and then it'll progress from there. Hello, little chick, chick, chicks. Hello, chick, chick, chicks. Hi, babies. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what are you? Oh <laughs> my goodness. Hello. So they apparently you? have a, a cute ability to remember faces. Oh. And they love interaction and they love to communicate. Oh, they, I know. They don't honk unless there's somebody that they really don't know. They are so fluffy and soft. Oh, you're so fluffy. I know they are. And back. just pooped in my hand. I know. Oh, you're so oh, so fluffy. Oh, oh, oh. How old are they? Three days old. Goodness. They love to cuddle. Oh, my heart. Oh, you're just the cutest. I love you. You're so sweet. So you sat on the way home and then something that you know. What do you think, babe? They are so precious. Oh, so precious. I have poop on my hand. Yeah, you did that to me too. Put you to are hand. the sweetest. I love you. Yeah. You're so fluffy. You're so cute. What should we name them? I don't know. Let's let them grow up before mm -hmm. we name them. They are cute. Mm -hmm. They are eating. And they just eat chick starter. Yep. They do require a higher niacin in their feed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Just sham. <laughs> they drink just the same. Yeah. Their little bug feet are so cute. Honestly, they feel like a little teddy bear. They feel like a, yeah, like a plushie. Like, yeah. One of those 
<laughs> okay, that is my favorite pastime. <laughs> Little cuddle chicks. Or, I guess they're not chicks. They're goslings. They are the softest thing ever. What are you eating? Chocolate. Huh? Hey, Tom. <laughs> They're so adorable. Ah, I want it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Through the camera lens, he's trying to eat. Oh, he's trying to eat the plant in the mirror. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why isn't this working? He can see that plant in the in my phone screen, and he's trying to go for it. You got good eyesight, then, hey? They they do. They recognize faces. Mm -hmm. Is the big thing people well, say. Hello. Going after your beard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there. 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 You got my finger. Let's see those little little teeth. Nom 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 nom. Give my finger. <laughs> Give my finger. They do have a little serrated. Oh, there it is. You're doing good. Gosling doesn't even care. No. Oh. <laughs> She's going to leave it alone She's now. She's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not friendly. <laughs> Still kind of curious, but I might get my nose bit. As long as she knows that they can take a rounder out of her. Well, I think that was what I was trying yeah. to teach she, her. she doesn't look like she wants a piece of it. <laughs> no, she's kind of <laughs> contemplating her life choices now. <laughs> so the other day, when I was holding them, that one, I think, is who... Oh. No, it was this one. The one that I'm holding pooped. And then that one went crazy, grabbed it in his mouth, <laughs> shook it and around. shook it around. <laughs> And the poop was flying. <laughs> <laughs> Closed his eyes. Yeah, he's in a nice hot, uh, not hot, but warm sits bath. Or pasty butt. Yeah. He's having a snooze. <laughs> he's okay for real. <laughs> yeah, see, there he he's is. He's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> when they're warm, they just they pass out. They go to sleep real easy. Have to dry them. Nice dry them really well too. Mm -hmm. I know. We're trying to help your bum. So several of our chicks ended up with pasty butt. While this can be a common issue, it can also be serious as it causes their poop to be a little bit pasty and stick to the outside of their vent, hardening and preventing them from being able to pass any little poops in the future. But a nice warm sits bath clears up the issue pretty quick and they're good to go. I found a contender for my cuddle chicken. This one loves to cuddle and so she was named cuddle chick oh hi <laughs> i've 
uh, just been getting the brooder ready. I've just secured it to the roof in case anything shifts around, it doesn't fall. And I've got to keep it at about 35 degrees. I've got it on the highest uh, heating setting right now. So what I might do is actually disconnect this and put the cable out the back end. Let's see if I can pull that cable through. In. Oh, and it goes. Get your bed. That's how I lost it in the pasture. Mm. We're in the cow pen. And the only way I found it is I played some uh, Lincoln Park on full blast and then tried to find the sound while retracing my steps. And I found it, but it don't stay in my ear very well. This is cool. It's my Frankenstein. <laughs> we'll see if it works. We got chickens coming next week, so crossing our fingers. So that must make you feel good. Not the muffin, but the fact that this thing, the temperature is what, you said 35? It needs to be at 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. And judging by the monitor that's in there, it is exactly 35 degrees inside that house. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's put a little sleep and stay warm. And there, it's just from that thing up there? Just from that single light up there. It's shifted a little bit. I have tested it on high and it will not catch this stuff on fire. What is this? Insulation? Oh, frigid. Mm -hmm. Well, now that it's hooked up to the ceiling too, it's not going to fall. No, it won't fall. There's, There's literally no reason it would fall. No. So, now that it's nice and warm in there, I want to pull this out here and see what the ambient outside temperature is. Which, as long as it isn't like 5 degrees, <laughs> is, is good because they can come out and acclimatize to more of an ambient temperature. And then if they get too cold, they can go back inside there. Well, and if they get too hot, then it'll just vent out through this little vent hole. And if they're too hot in there, then they can come up. Yeah. We've had a couple of rainstorms already mm -hmm. and it stayed bone dry inside. Oh my goodness. It's so exciting. What an exciting day. I just picked up my chicks. These are the meat kings that we're going to be raising. 60 of them. they are. Look at them. The monsters in the flesh. Uh, oh. oh my god. And dog. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Look at them all. Yeah. <laughs> they are so cute. Love chicken nuggets. They're cute now. Yeah. But they turn into monsters. I've seen what they turn into, yeah. <laughs> Little chicken nuggets. Well, Ready to go to your new home? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Chicken monsters in there. Frankenstein. I got it. Yes, I could open that up. Okay. Oh, and the Pine tree wings are in there. Yeah. No phones. Those are not too, not for you. <laughs> I know they squeak, but they're not too joyous. Do you have the water thing in there? No, you got the water. Yes, okay. So we're gonna put that big one the big water one? and the big feeder in here. Okay. And then I'll be checking them throughout the day, obviously. I'll we'll leave them in the box until we get the water and the food in here and let them warm up 
and calm down a little bit. Yeah, it was a bumpy road. <laughs> they were just sliding all over that place. Not too much. It's supposed to be two percent. Yeah. Perfect. I just know that it's two teaspoons yeah. for the one quart. Um Caitlin? What? Did you get the wrong lids? It was like literally right underneath of it. Like they were together. As a pair, so I, I don't know. That doesn't work though, does it? No, that's not gonna work though. So, <laughs> we made a little bit of a mistake at the uh, at the co-op, picking up the chicken waterers. You'll see this guy right here is for a screw-in waterer, but this guy right here is a sit-in waterer, sit-in and lock-in. So when you put them together, they fit, but they're not really going to work. And they're closed for the day. So we got to come up with something overnight that will that will work better for them. Mistakes were made, but that's okay. We learn. I didn't think to ask like why they were separate. I have a waterer. Yeah. I'll like do with this for now. Who did you take that out of? The small tricks. Okay. Yeah, they'll go through less water. Yeah. They have been drinking. Alright. Cool. This guy's over here. Not so. This can go there. Alright, now. How are we going to dip each of their beaks? They figured it out pretty quick. I didn't dip any of the beaks of the other ones, but we'll keep an eye on them and see how the water level is. The spa is through the doorway. I don't stand up straight. I'm kind of pushing so the door. That hole is probably too small for when they get a little bit bigger. Well, it's so that less heat escapes. I know. <laughs> Help them into an argument. I wish we had a chick cam in there. <laughs> yeah, look at you all by yourself. Come on. Push yourself in. And you guys go. There's lots of room. Hey, all these different cards around the operation. Uh, keep the birds alive. Every time we open this door, there's there's about that much of a, a lip there, but they just yeet right over it. <laughs> I don't know why, but. So now we got to try and put a guard in there. Which might make it interesting getting the food in and out, but you do what you got to do. But these guys are just, they're nuts. They're crazy. You just want to jump to their death. So we're going to open it. And then I'm going to slide this in. Mm -hmm. Hopefully create enough of a barrier that they can't jump. If one gets past the box, we got fence. Turkey. Standing underneath 
like typical like that alligator cartoon with all the alligators <laughs> with their mouths open, mm -hmm. waiting for the food to fall into their mouth. Of course. <laughs> no, no, no. You stay. <laughs> okay. That's better. Now they have a lip. They can't jump. They're all just like dog pile over the side. Okay, now that goes, okay, that's good. I didn't want to have to do this, but I think I don't have a choice. Oh, that, sorry, <laughs> chickies. That'll uh, <laughs> wake you guys up. I think Probably I don't do. need the box anymore. I've never seen chicks like just Geronimo over the side. Just wait till they can fly. Mm -hmm. Is there, uh, does it poke through on the side? No. Okay, good. No, I can, I just ran my hand over it as well. Oh, hi. Hello. Little chicken nuggets. Is that your food? Oh, they found it. Oh, buddy. Got the water. We need a bigger water tomorrow. I've already seen several of them drinking from it, so they know that it exists. I mean, they're out here, so they can't be cold. No, it's like 22 degrees in here, mm -hmm. and warmer in there. I can the sensor farther in. Good idea. I kind of had to just toss it in there quickly. <laughs> One week later. Hello, chicken nuggets. Hi, hello. Wow, you're getting big. Aren't ya? Rob's out there building another tote with chicken wire or whatever, like hardware cloth, for these little guys because they've been picking their own feathers and the chicken's feathers for some reason. So we are having to separate them from the chickens. It's too crowded in there anyway. So they'll have their own tote. Barred rock chicks over here. And there's some lavender orphington in here too. But most of them are the barred rock.
supplies, right? Uh -oh. oh, you're out. Do you have more? You guys are so messy. Oh my goodness, I just spilled that water. This is why we need a tote and not just a cardboard box. Good job. Still bigger than when they were in with the chickens. And they can nibble at the grass. That'll keep them occupied. Yeah. There you go. What do you think? <laughs> I guess they're gonna be too tall for that soon. Here, pick at the grass and stop picking at your feathers. We bought them special goose uh, feeder food. Goose starter, goose and duck. So that's supposed to have niacin in it, so they don't pick out and eat their feathers. Hey! It wasn't grass. Loki's already been in there with them. She's very calm. She doesn't care about them at all. She's curious, but the goose has already told her, back off, I can bite your nose. <laughs> and basically, she's a small cat. They're basically the same size as she is. The geese, not the cat. Yeah, that's the geese's grass. Geese's? Is that? Goose. <laughs> that's the goose grass. <laughs> Loki. They're sharing. It's okay. All right. They're like, hey, I remember this box. Oh my god. It's chaos in here today. Don't. They like looking at the reflection in this. Come on, Goose! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh no! I want to try and set up a little outside excursion for the chicks that are growing in that and the geese. It's good to get them hardened off to some cooler temperatures. On a beautiful sunny day like today, I think they'd enjoy a little field trip. Let's see what we can do with some of the materials we have on hand to just put something together for them. So this is probably actually better than the chicken wire. It can almost stand on its own. And it's pretty narrow along the bottom there. Little supervised outing. Supervised field trip. Oh yeah. Don't you need Then you want to some outside time? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on, chip, chip, chip. Oh. So from a safe distance and guys. Oh. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Just soaking in that sun. <laughs> yeah. 
Caitlin's doing a big time <laughs> now. And they're with the chickens. Got all my chicks. She is the mother clucker. Mother clucker, yeah. <laughs> Oh the geese goodness. are just like You're loving it. having a great time running. Oh yes. That's so big. Yeah, what's your deal? I figured they would have liked the heat, but they're actually getting a bit too hot. But... <laughs> Try to create like a little tent. Up there. No, 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 no. Mm, sharp little claws. Yeah. <sighs> I have my own personal bug control. The bug brigade. Anytime there's a mosquito near me. Or black fly, they go they go nuts. They take care of it for me. You get those mosquitoes. Get them. <laughs> hey, chip, chip. Yeah, they just wanted to be with us. Hey, goose, goose. When we got these little guys, we had really no clue um, what to expect from them. We had a little bit of research um, and some information from the lady that we got them from, but we didn't realize how adorable and how sociable they would be. They just follow you around everywhere. They're super intelligent. They have incredible eyesight and they can see any little bird uh, from the sky from so far away. When Rob brought these two little ones home, I was having a really bad day at work. And it just turned my entire day around seeing these two little guys. They were so sweet. And they will follow you anywhere. They just want to be held and interacted with. Anywhere you are on the farm, they'll come find you. Come on, chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> Little wings, oh, look at little wings. Come on, trip, trip. Your turn. Oh, yeah. It's like a jungle for them. They just slurp it back, eh? Boom. Coming up soon on Raven Willow Farmstead. I've never actually had chickens, and I'm so excited. Our chickens have hatched, but we've got no place for them to go. So we gotta get this coop built. That's cool. We found a source of compost, and we break ground on the garden. Today is the day we're planting our trees. Thank you for watching. We hope that you'll join us on the next episode of Raven Willow Farmstead.